welcome to No One's Lounge. First ever episode and a Christmas festive one at that. Wishing you a good morning, afternoon, evening or good night, wherever you are in the world and whatever time it may be. From myself, No One and my beautiful friends. On the panel in this episode, we have Mr. Daniel Anderson, an actor and award-winning director and producer. Also, Miss Mia Depper, Hello. the princess of mindfulness, and the man that puts the letter M in the word magic, Mr. Damon Conlon. We will be talking about all things festive and Christmas, our favourite traditions, and also <coughs> spare a thought for those that might have it a bit rough at this time of year, the elderly, those that are alone or without money, those with ill health, um, sparing a particular thought at those with ill mental health, which is a subject very close to my heart and a subject that will be discussed in this episode and every other episode of No One's Lounge. Our special guest artist today is Mr. Dominic James Hyde, a badass Birmingham musician performing live and acoustically here with us today. So, take it away. Sorry, thanks. Uh, this track is called uh, Jeunesse, uh, and I'll do it uh, with a band called DJ Jekyll and Blast Dance. Since you were mine In the rooms I'm sweeping The bodies are weeding I am being sleeping Bricks are all bleeding But the dust is best Thought I knew you best But I loved you least you know Episode. Is there anywhere that they can find you in particular online? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we've got a Facebook page which is DJ Apple and Glass Dance and also SoundCloud, so the same name, yeah. What was that again? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that highly memorable name is uh, D Jekyll and Glass Dance, so it's G L A S T Dance. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I know that I asked you to prepare three originals today, but I did also ask you to bring a Christmas cover. And I was quite vague, I just said Christmas <laughs> cover, I didn't tell you what to do. I think, because it's Christmas, mm -hmm. 
I think that you should hit us with it and tell me what it is because I want to know. I tell us all. I'm afraid I've interpreted that quite liberally. Um, <laughs> with a song from My Fair Lady, uh, which comes on at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I have often walked down the street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I, several stories high, blowing my home on the street where you live. Are there lilac trees? In the heart of town Can you hear a lark in any other part of town? Does enchantment blow out of every door? No, it's just on the street where you live And oh, the towering feeling Just to know somehow you are near The old, the power any second you may suddenly appear People stop and stare, they don't bother me For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be Let the time go by, I don't care if I can be here on the street where you live So you've kind of broken the Christmas seal. I just want to ask my panel, and you can feel free to join in, Dominic. Um, what are your personal favourite Christmas traditions? What makes it special for you? What do you love? Okay, I'll start. Um, ever since I was a boy, um, my parents would take me to church and would have the Christmas service. Um, go there, would start by eight in the morning. We all get in the car um, with our Christmas jumpers on and. <laughs> Just meet everyone from the community, um, hear a message from the preacher and go back home, have breakfast and just have a lot of food and have fun and, mm. and play games. Oh. But for me, um, tradition is, is family mm. and being merry and having great food. Yeah. And being around those who you love, man. Yeah. 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 What about you? Um, I like the uh, some of the Germanic um, Pagan Festival, you all tried to have some good ones, so the Yule tree, so I'm de decorating my tree with lights <laughs> and yeah. okay. and, and then I've always been fascinated with um, <clears throat> the Christmas cracker, because um, it makes bang, which I think... Yeah. On cue, I challenge you. Let's do it. You're going to win. <laughs> I and always lose, always lose. <laughs> Can still try and crack it. Have I ruined your tradition? Because I'm not yeah, there's I'll, no crack. If I can change it. <laughs> I didn't know there was no crack. I'll go your lock. Uh, but I love your hat. Well, we'll put it on whilst oh, well. Mia answers and tells us. Oh, okay. Double hat. Oh, I've leveled um, up. How do I start? Oh, yeah. So Pokemon. I think for me, it was, ooh, my Christmas yeah. tradition is probably a bit weird. It's not very Christmassy. But basically, we all wake up really early. And we all have a veggie bacon sandwich. <laughs> and we all just sit around eating a veggie bacon sandwich, which it's isn't very. Do you know? Yeah, yeah it's, it's veggie bacon. Family. It's like. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, that's a whole other episode. Like, <laughs> what is veggie bacon? Like, it, it, it's. Uh, like a, mm, Does it look like Produced bugs? fake meat. Yeah, yeah, it's nice though. <laughs> if you keep doing it, it'll become a tradition. No, we do it every yeah, year since I was a kid, which is why it's our Christmas tradition. It's just nice sitting around with my family having a veggie bacon sandwich. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what about you, Dominic? Well, to be honest with you, I'm just trying to nail down a single one. It's quite difficult, but it I think is. basically, I think for the past five years, someone from my family has always been abroad for Christmas. Oh. So my brother lives in China, for instance. He's coming back this wow. month. But what we what we've always done is at the start of the day, when the time difference is okay, just make sure you call them for half an hour. So I think that's Aww. probably turned into a tradition is calling somebody on the other side. Mm -hmm. so, and is it is it like Skype now? It, that's yeah, how much it's kind of changed. Thank God, yeah. It's nice. It's you get to see it? them. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. Well, like you say, it's quite hard to pick one, so I'm going to cheat as I have no one, and it's my lounge. I'm going to say uh, a couple. So I think my favourite tradition, one of them, is um, my mother's Christmas banquet. And she's very modest. Like, to be honest, my mum is not the best chef, and she knows that. It's not going to be offensive oh, yeah. when she sees it. But 
her Christmas dinner to me is amazing. There's just there's so much food and it's all so tasty and I dread the day that it's ever going to be my responsibility mm -hmm. to do that for however many people are in the family. I mean, quite a sad one on that note is it used to be my tradition to always pick my grandmother or grandfather who were separated. And each year as a child I'd get to pick and I used to probably alternate, you know, do alternative. Like, oh, grandma this year, granddad um, the year after. After. and um, my granddad passed but every Christmas it, I can still feel his spirit around us which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome and my nan doesn't really like leaving the house so <laughs> she doesn't want any turkey she doesn't eat much but you know what my favorite favorite one is what? seeing people's faces mm -hmm. when they open their Christmas gifts yeah one could say that's a bit selfish but I love it mm -hmm. and actually on cue um, Princess Mia is a very good friend of mine. I suffer a lot and she tolerates me a lot oh. when I'm in pain and right, need to you. rant and get upset. Thank you. And so I think we should all see your face whilst oh. you open it. <laughs> but to take the scene off happy. a little bit, the quicker you do it, the better, Mia. The quicker you do it, the better. <laughs> to take the heat off you, I've also made homemade gifts for you all last night. Oh. Yes, please. Oh, okay. um, so um, they're a mixture of cocoa, oh. a vanilla, and chocolate. And they're lip balm, homemade, with coconut oil, it's all natural, it's as oh. organic as can possibly be. And Kitty, our cinematographer, behind camera once, is a, there's one for you as well. Oh. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. that's great. My pleasure. pleasure. Nothing is a pleasure. Let me just take your faces in this, is, this is for me. <laughs> it's a treasure. I call her Captain. <laughs> Um, it's a private <laughs> joke, so yeah. I've given her her own treasure chest, but also, <laughs> babe, so open the mini one. Thank you. Oh my god, even more treasure. Oh. <laughs> There's I'm also something quite captain like in there oh, that you might be able to dig out. I'm on <laughs> You can put it on your finger. Oh, thank you, Jay. I can't quite get it. There we are. It's oh, an my. octopus ring. It's an octopus ring. ring. <laughs> thank you. Can you give me a hug? Of course. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, Merry gosh, Christmas. That, that, is, <laughs> thank you. that is what I love the most, really. Seeing other people's faces. It's time to put the lid on now. We've been in the microphone. How, how is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, it's it's nice. Nice. is it? It's not very good. It's a bit shiny. If it gets yeah. very hot, it might turn into oil again, but just yeah. put it back in the fridge and it'll be fun. It's very natural. So, well, was yours chocolate or vanilla or both? Um, I think both. Yeah. I, someone, was like, doop, doop, and someone was like, do do, and someone was like, do do. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. My pleasure to all of you. Okay, okay so um, I did also say that I'd kind of like to can remember, let's say, those people who find it hard at mm. Christmas time. We all spoke about presents and mm. family and phone calls and communication can't forget that there are people out there that don't have friends or family that don't have money and Christmas might be a very sad time of year. Yeah. I know um, myself I've been institutionalised during Christmas time and that was definitely the worst Christmas I've ever had. And I, I just feel there's something about Christmas that triggers and evokes ill mental health in people and I was wondering what your opinions are as to why that might be. Things that do trigger it is stuff like loneliness and then when you do see everyone with their families and or friends or both um, and then you're on your own sometimes you might isolate yourself because you don't want to go out because you start to feel a bit more depressed or a bit more lonely or anxious or any of it so you start communicating as much but I think we can help people by being thoughtful of our friends and our families who might have things similar or like and just invite them over like I something I love about my Christmas is we invite me. Like we invite friends and family, but like if we if I know a certain person's gonna be on their own, they'll come and join it. Like come and join our family, and even though it might feel a bit weird for them, but we'll try change it and like make them welcome. Yeah. Um, Just consider those yeah. that don't have the luxury. Mm -hmm. It's a luxury, isn't it, to have friends and family? Yeah. We take it for granted. I think. You know, um, I'm not in a habit of quoting Freud, um, but he was asked, "What's the formula for happiness?" Do you know, have you heard Freud's formula for happiness? No. Is it work and love? Mm. And so at Christmas, at this time of year, people are often out of work, you know, because of seasonal patterns of employment. And also they often find themselves isolated. So the two things that can kind of lift you up, work and love, they're often under threat at this time of year. So I think that's kind of what you said, you know, yeah. lack of community. Yeah, they definitely contribute. I think it's a, it's a naturally pressurised environment, isn't it? A time of year because you have to get the gifts right, you have to do this and that, and yeah, uh, all the tree up, yeah. And uh, it's the cliche of Christmas is the time when you gather together and have an argument with your family. <laughs> um, so, at the end of the goodwill part and the 
the the love part I think is important um, rather than the um, an expectation and a pressure of um, making it perfect and, and not chipping up and yeah so in the goodwill spirit should be uh, first and foremost I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think um, for me, in just observing um, those, for example, who are homeless and they're seeing town very busy, mm -hmm. people walking out of selfridges with Absolutely. bags, and what's happening is there is it's just pushing their face. The fact that they haven't got that, yeah. you know, what I mean, yeah. uh, so that's one aspect of why I think people can go into themselves, just seeing the busyness of this season, which is which is lasts one day, then everyone's back to normal. Yeah. Um, then the other factor for me is people have lost people, Yeah. you know, years you spent with um, people that you love and then they've gone to the other side and then you've got to spend this day with someone, well sorry, you've got to spend this day with people who are not there anymore, you know, and people, so that makes sense, you've got to spend the day with your family and friends but that yeah. specific yeah. person who's not there, yeah. you're thinking about them yeah. and you can only think about the memories you have of them when they were there, yeah. so I think that can be hard I think so. for those. I, th I think I agree, like for people who are fortunate enough to you know, live in a cosy home with the television, mm. it's on adverts, it's on programmes, it's in our face, we're reminded, nobody forgets Christmas, do you know mm. what I mean? You forget people's birthdays, anniversaries, you know, but Christmas is in your face and it's not just those people in home, it's people that are in town, it's on the billboards yeah. and then it's also the people that are walking by, like you said, with their shopping and it is a bit of a rub in the face and last year I, I went to the Salvation Army and I also went to a place called Summerhouse Terrace for drug um, and substance abusers. And I gave them time. I took some musical friends with me. Um, I sat down and I spoke to them and I said, you know, what if you had the chance, like the Queen has her speech every year, if it was like the public person's speech, what message would you want to get out there to the people that ignore you, basically, on a daily basis? And I think the thing that was most resounding that stuck in my head and that I feel I should say for them this year is that they want us all to know that they are there 24-7 mm -hmm. every day of the Good year. Christmas. And at Christmas maybe some people do pay a spare thought for them and will give them a bit of change. But actually they're there all the time yeah. and it's hard all the time. So mm. just remember them and pay a thought for them. And I know the greatest... Uh, the greatest what is it? The greatest gift you can give a person time. is time. Mm -hmm. I like that. I heard it on a programme the other day. Can't say it's Freud. I don't know who it is, but I liked yeah. it very much. But anyway, to um, lighten the mood somewhat after that conversation, thank you for all sharing with me. Um, I thought that you could do some magic, sir. So, Damon, could you take it away? Why not? Um, so, we're talking about traditions, favourite traditions of Christmas. Um, this next one is one of my other favourites. It's a lesser known one um, and it's every winter uh, magicians gather and harvest the noses from reindeer um, now and perform <laughs> ancient reindeer magic. Um, this comes from of course the Norse myths, of course the Theseus and the reindeer. You, know. um, you heard that one? No. It's not like the Theseus and the Minotaur but it's Theseus starts in the maze uh, with the reindeer. This is so, really um, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, so it's all dark oh, inside. Oh, yeah. He just turns on his nose and then he's away. <laughs> of course, at the end, there's a, there's a gift shop and they sell hot dogs, um, lingonberries, <laughs> and maple balls. Um, so I brought, along, I brought along a nose. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, you oh, thank you. I get to be a Rudolph. It matches yeah. her. Uh, yeah, it matches her. Really. How do I put your yeah. um, nose? Yeah, it's a, oh, it's, a, it's a traditional nose. Uh, <laughs> it isn't worn. It's, uh, it's got more of a medallion. Um, um, do you want me to put it in my treasure chest? Uh, you know, really cool. Um, so I have. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a nose, mm -hmm. and um, you can actually, uh, if you're good, because they actually trans um, regenerate. They're like uh, mm -hmm. Salamander's tails or Tyrion Lannister's nose. Ah! Two, two noses. Uh, yeah, that's the second one. Thank you. Oh, what? I didn't find you. What? Uh, this one is the squeaky one. Somebody jumps no, like that, that you know it's uh, it's live. You're not squeaking no more. What are you doing to me? That's not fair. You don't squeak. <laughs> to be fair, I am. I am. It's, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> mini whoopee. Yeah, okay. Though. That's. It's still not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So, uh, this is the, the ritual. Uh, 
sure that before we perform. So uh, here we go. One note there. One note here. Here we go. Oh. Thanks for the sound effects then. It's good. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> here we go. Is that magic words? Abacrita? Um, yeah. Rudolph? I was going to say them, but you can, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let's go. Let's it's uh, <laughs> Tell you what, uh, which one do you prefer? Which one squeaky? is Really squeaky. Uh, that'd be this one, so. Okay. Really. She hates you, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, hold, this one, hold this one really tight, or oh, squeeze it in your right hand, that's perfect. Right. That yeah, one's I know choice. Right, yeah. uh, squeeze it in over. And if we say the magic I'm words. I'm too scared. <laughs> Rudolph will not be. Guarding the sleigh tonight. I can feel it growing. Yes, to... <laughs> there we go. There we go. What do I do? Open Is it? What? Oh my gosh. I, I can feel two. it growing. <laughs> Is there two there? <laughs> Amazing. No way. Um, <laughs> I would literally fly in the whole So I have one more. I've got one more along with them. Hello. Uh, well, that's there for a second. Awesome. Um, so I have a deck of cards, they in this case happen to be all red. They do. Hopefully can see them. Good colour. Good girls at home. Okay. <laughs> Favourite people. Uh, lots of faces. Lots of cards. Yeah. Good, good work. So, um, we are going to hypnotise you. Oh. oh in a okay. merry uh, Yuletide way. So, I am going to convince you that there is a red card, Mia. Among, a blue card, rather. Okay. Um, you are already convinced there is a red card among the red cards. Uh, a blue card amongst the red cards. Okay. okay. You ready? No! <laughs> well, I'm watching you do it. Well, can you, you can say something happening. Is that, you can't Am I not meant to? <laughs> Here we go. Little mix. Little mix. Little mix. Little mix. So, Mia? Mia? Oh, I know. Which one do you think is the blue card? Oh um, my, um... Which one do you like? <sighs> Oops, sorry, that one. Like. The eight of diamonds, are you yeah. sure? No, not, not really. <laughs> I like the number eight, that's why I picked it. I don't good think choice, this is your trick or not. So not the two, not the three, not the nine. Uh, not the six, are you sure? The eight? Eight, yeah, eight. Yeah? eight. Okay, well the interesting part is that this is the uh, the blue card. No way. Oh, a bit weird. Wait, is that the... Yeah. So, well, you you have him hit him. Yeah. It's uh, hypnosis. Yeah. Are you really hypnotised? Try snapping out of it. Yeah. Please do. Could you do it? It's <laughs> red. Oh my god. <laughs> sure. I weird. Um. No, that was uh. Like, there is a real. I've got a real blue one. That was just hypnotism. <laughs> got a real blue one. Is it eight though? Well, you're not going to know. I'm just going to just be sneaky about it. Okay. I'm going to sneak your shuffle. I'm mesmerised. Okay, maybe one more time? Okay, what are we doing? Anyone that you like. So, uh, Anyone? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. The three of diamonds. The three of yeah. diamonds. Are you sure? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Three of diamonds? Yeah. What do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to look at it? Ah, no! <laughs> So we're is that blue? Is Can you see blue? blue? That's no, not just me. That's blue. Yeah. We're going to snap you out of it. So okay. What do you mean snap me out of it? It's going to be red now. Yeah, yeah. so that's is the... It's going to be red. No. Oh my god, they're all blue! Oh, I thought that was going to no be the way. last time. Are you and serious? Gone, don't, no one tell her about the chicken dance that she did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> not funny. Uh, <laughs> they're all blue. Uh, Are they all blue? Are they all blue? They're definitely all blue. There's How no, did you do there's it? no reds. I mean, uh, that's the thing. It's amazing. That's what I want to ask you, but I know that I can't. He won't, he Happy won't winter know. solstice, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. You're amazing. If people, if people enjoyed that, why, <laughs> why would I say if? Why would I say if? That's what I, I mean, people, that's what I people will enjoy it, right? So where can they find you online? Uh, nowhere. No, um, <laughs> I'm, on, uh, I'm on Twitter. Uh, at Damon Conlon, I'm on Facebook at Damon Conlon, and I'm on the internet uh, www.damonconlon.co.uk. Um, so that's Damon Conlon. Yes. Correct. And uh, if you want to stalk me, um, I live on a street in a house. Um, <laughs> so nobody's going to stalk you, darling. That's not the audience we're going for. Okay, thank you so much for lightening the mood. Now, Dominic, I know that I asked you to do three originals and one cover. 
you've done one cover, you've done one original, so please, in your own time, could you introduce and perform your two other songs for us? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, do you want to keep the mood light or do you want it to be horrendously depressing? <laughs> well, we, we, we've covered both shades throughout the show, so I think it would probably be suitable to do one of each. One of each, okay, that sounds quite reasonable. Uh, I'll Maybe end on a high. Hi, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do the miserable one first. <laughs> it's okay to be miserable, guys. It's okay. Thanks. Okay, this one's called If You Never Ask. Manchester, uh, and he's a lovely guy. Uh, he's had a bit of a hard time with depression for a while, um, okay. but yeah, no, he's a star. We love Filter Bits, and uh, you know, we'd like him to do well. So, write this song That's for Phil when he's feeling a bit down. Oh, thank you.
you sleep for the chains that you bear in your desert day. find anything more no one you just put a diary from no one as one word you'll find all my social media sites you'll find my um, blog and poetry website and also for an incentive to carry on with this kind of chat show because I really feel like there is a hole in the market for it please do subscribe to my YouTube channel I know at current I have the grand total of 14 followers so if I can up that to at least 50, it really would give me the motivation and incentive to carry on and so I can keep getting more talented people in my lounge and transfer that down the screen to your lounges back home. Um, I'd like to say thank you for everybody and we'd all like to wish you a Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. For anybody that is having a hard time this Christmas, please don't suffer in silence. If you don't feel comfortable communicating with friends or family, you can always call the professional helplines. You can call 999. You can call NHS Direct on 111. You can reach out to the Samaritans on 116 123. And you can reach out to SANE on 0300 304 7000. Please don't suffer in silence.